This video is brought to you by Storyblocks Video. Say you want to make someone's head super large, or paint away something, or mask someone out, or I don't know, basically any compositing. It's gonna take a ton of work if your camera or subject is moving around. For instance, here I've got a woman running. Let's use this stock clip as an example today. Now, she's running around like crazy. And let's say that we want to make her head giant, which we can quickly do with the magnify effect. Well, you can now go ahead and animate that center property frame by frame for the entire duration of the shot. Or you can use a technique called reverse stabilization. This is one of the most insane tricks in After Effects that will dramatically simplify and speed up any compositing work. There are two ways to do it, and I'm going to show both of them, because although the first one is easier, it doesn't always seem to work. From the tracker window, click on Warp Stabilizer. Now let After Effects do its thing, and when it's done, your shot will be somehow stabilized. Although I'm not interested in that. But what we can do now is enable the Show Tracking Points. To make sure that you delete the tracking points that you don't need. And by this, I mean that we want the face of the lady to be stabilized in the center, so all the rest can be removed. Now After Effects will add those points back over time, so make sure to scrub a second forward and delete again those tracking points that appeared back. Now, you don't have to do this so precise. When you're done with that, you can disable to show track points. For the objective, change that to Reversible Stabilization. And by doing this, we're saying, hey, whatever your stabilization you're doing here, I want to make sure to reverse that afterwards, alright? And finally, on top, we're gonna set the result to no motion, as we want the head to be perfectly still, and the method will be set to position, scale, rotation to avoid weird distortions in your shot. And that's it! Now the shot is now stabilized around the woman's face, and this means that we can add that magnify effect to it without further animations. You can also draw like tattoos on her face, or here, download a stock clip of a woman laughing, cut out her mouth and place that on her face. There's no need to animate anything, as her face sits perfectly still now, because it's stabilized. Now she's actually enjoying her morning run. <laughs> Alright, do whatever you want to do, but now let's bring back the motion that we had before. Copy the Warp Stabilize effect, then right-click on your layer and choose Precompose. Make sure that it says Move All Attributes into the new composition. Next, enable Collapse Transformations for the layer, or else you will see black borders. Now, on this precomp, just paste the Warp Stabilizer effect that we've copied before, and within, change the objective to Reverse Stabilization. And poof! That's it! Your beautiful effects are now following your beautiful actress without hours of animating. And you can always go back into the comp and add a new element in there. Like a nice little hat or something. I don't know. Alright, stick with me, guys. You're gonna learn so much today. This technique, however, is not always working. Half of the time, you're gonna get errors from the warp stabilizer effect, which has to do with the codec you're working with, or the clip length or something. I don't know, there's, there are many posts about this on health forums, and there's not very often a solution. Well, here is a solution. But first, a quick shout out to our sponsor, Storyblocks Video. The stock club that we've been working with comes from their library. But apart from that, you can also find various categories of high quality 4K stocks, where you can always find something for your compositing work or video projects. I also like that they have thousands of effects, transitions, overlays, and even After Effects templates. With a premium membership, I can download as much as I want without additional fees, which makes Storyblock so incredible. For more information, make sure to click the first link in the description below. And now moving on with the second technique, search for the Mocha effect and drag that to your clip. Now from the effects controls, click on the Mocha icon, which will open up the dedicated program. Now, don't get freaked out right here, we're gonna use one simple tool within this program. But first, change your workspace to classic to see the tools that we need. From the toolbox, take the pen tool and draw a rough shape around the point that you want to stabilize, which is her face in this case. Then click on the Track Forward button, and when Mocha is done, enable the Quick Stabilize mode from the top. And that's it. Now hit Ctrl S to save the project and close Mocha. Now nothing really is happening yet, as we need to bring the tracking data from Mocha into After Effects first, and this can be done from the Mocha effect itself. Click on Create Track Data. Now still nothing is happening, but we've got the data now, which is good. Now because we've tracked on the face, 
you also want to enable invert to push the tracking over to the entire clip or else your entire clip will be scaled down to the size of her face, which is not what we need. From the effects control, search for the CC power pin effect and drag that to your clip. Alt plus click on the stopwatch for every corner pin property. And this will collapse the expression view in your layer options. Now for each property, there's a pick whip tool. Use that to link it to the mocha tracking data. The top left from the CC corner pin goes to the top left for the mocha property. The top right goes to the top right and so on. And now your shot is stabilized and you can add any goofy element to your talent. Now bringing back the motion works kind of the same as with the warp stabilizer. Select the two effects and hit Ctrl C to copy them. Then right click on your layer and choose Precompose it with the attribute sent into the new comp. Then paste the copied effects onto the comp and from the CC corner pin effect click on Unstretch. Next enable collapse transformations for the layer or else you will see black borders. Bada boom, bada bim. That's it. And this more tedious technique will always work. So there, I hope that you've learned something new. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Storyblocks, for the support. And as always, stay creative. And that was it for this video. Again, if you enjoyed it, please hit the thumbs up and click this video on my left if you want to watch more or simply subscribe on the bottom left button there and join the community. Damn, I suck at singing.